Hi, I'm Sophie. I run the Grain and Knot Spoon Carving Workshops and just running one at the corner room in Town Hall Hotel. So the first few cuts are always really difficult because you're cutting across the grain and you always go from sort of horizontally left to right. I think there's a huge trend on handmade and buying something that will last and being able to meet the person who made the thing you're buying is also really important for people and being able to see where the materials are sourced from and actually you know speak to the person and find out why they like what they're doing and why they enjoy their craft. Everything I do is really tactile so it's nice to be able to touch things and pick them up. Being able to make something physical from a piece of waste material, something that would be thrown away, end up in a landfill, or be used as firewood, it's, it's quite nice to, yeah, to make something physical from it and spending some time on something that you're not normally doing is also quite important for people that tend to enjoy it when they come to the workshops and just learning a new skill. The hardest bit to do is just top it here, so I'll probably work on all sorts of people have come to the workshops before from all walks of life. I get a lot of designers, creative types, but I also get a lot of, sort of older people looking for a new hobby. I get um, younger people who are interested in food blogging, food styling, that they can style their pictures with a handmade spoon. And then people who just generally like craft, um, generally like making things and just want to add another string to their bow. You're not only making something that's you know to be hung on your wall, you're making something to be used and it will last a lifetime.